John Kaplan is a Pulitzer Prize winning photographer and professor at UF's College of Journalism. He's traveled the world capturing many humanitarian issues on camera and has even photographed Mother Teresa. But this was an assignment he never expected, cancer. Here is his story in his own words from his own documentary called Not As I Pictured. Does anyone really live a picture perfect life? My name is John Kaplan. I'm 48, a photographer and I've almost never been sick. After a tumor was found on my kidney, two surgeries and now a diagnosis of lymphoma, this is my reality. I'm learning that you've got to find strength you never knew you had and somehow forge a positive attitude, or your chances of surviving really won't be as good. So I've got to believe this is my reality too. What looked like kidney cancer found early was instead lymphoma, a blood cancer, found in the OR, confirmed by pathology. The pathology shows that I've got a mix of the two most common kinds of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The shock is that I also have lymphoma in the bone marrow, a completely different and rare type, marginal zone. Two separate coexisting cancers at once. As a photojournalist, you're always the observer and never the participant, and yet here I am. Uh, for the first month and a half, I didn't even think of my camera. All I could think of is, uh, how do I survive this? Pe people said to write a journal as a way to cope with the stress, and this is my visual journal. It's been, so far, cathartic, therapeutic, and I want this to be, it, one day, in a small way, um, a way to help others be able to make it through this, too. My treatment is called ARCHOP21. Each cycle of five drugs is 21 days apart. The drip is slow, and I'm there all day. As the patient, you just do what they tell you to do, and you follow the process, even when it hurts more than you've ever known. But I think it's hardest on the caregiver. Your partner really has to carry the weight of the unknown, and what it might be like if you're no longer here. After 10 years as a professor, I'm nervous for the first time as I'm about to start the semester with my international journalism class. I have cancer, but I'm in treatment, and I'm going to be fine. And I'm ready for a great semester each and every week uh, with you guys. Today is the day that we see Dr. Lynch to get the results of my CAT scan. And uh, hopefully it's going to show that the chemo is working. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to work through it. I'm facing my fear, finding the faith, and, um, you know, we believe it's, it's working. It's going to be okay. I just want to be alive to see my kids grow up. Tomorrow, John joins us here at GTN News Studios to talk about his experience and his DVD. Also, John is giving away more than 10,000 copies of his DVD, Not As I Pictured. To find out how you can get one, log on to mygtn.tv and click on Not As I Pictured. Myra Monroe, GTN News, working for you.